Hey everybody, it's Wilbits. We're playing the other Ask Nine Attorney. Welcome to Ace Attorney Theater. Today we have a crazy courtroom drama like no other. It's a tale that could have happened sometime, somewhere, but certainly not in our world. How did it differ from our usual crazy trials, you ask? I'm afraid I, the judge, don't know. All I do know is, don't take this too seriously. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Now, it's at nine attorney time. Let's break that fourth wall down with a big old gavel hammer. Yep, we're doing the uh, Apollo Justice Ask Nine Attorney for Spirit of Justice. It's... I'm Apollo Justice, attorney at law. But today, I'll be taking on some work of a different nature. It's something Mr. Wright asked me to do for him while he's away overseas. There's going to be a special event down at the courtroom, Apollo. Quite down at the court... There's going to be a special event down at the courthouse, Apollo. They'll be reenacting courtroom trials and holding briefings on the judicial system. The Princess of Crane, Crane has decided that she wants to go and observe the proceedings. But since I'm not over there, I'm kind of hoping you'd show her around. What a way to spend my day off playing royal babysitter to the Princess of Crane. All right, I guess it's Rafa again. Phew! Trials here in your country are far more interesting than I had anticipated. The, the reams of evidence, gavel pounding, finger pointing, those shouts from the gallery. I'm absolutely exhausted. Your courtrooms are more akin to sports arenas. Back in Kurain, trials are more solemn affairs. Sit upon the divination seance where I do a, a large acrobatic dance and then we just kill someone. It's much easier. That's because there are no lawyers, which is a separate problem of its own, really. I'll probably fix that one day. This is Rafa, Princess of Kurain and Royal Priestess in charge of the divination seance. I'm glad she's interested in our trials, but when I heard a princess would be visiting, I imagined she'd be as gentle and kind as your benevolence suggests. But in reality, she isn't very benevolent at all. Ed, Hornhead, have you heard even a word I've uttered? I've been saying Hornhead repeatedly for the last five minutes. Hornhead, 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 Horn. I was saying there's much to like about your spectator sport like trials, but there wasn't anything even remotely sports like in that last trial. Now then, where shall we go next? I was presented with a host of sightseeing brochures at the airport. But I have grown tired of carrying them about. Here, you hold these, Hornhead. Nine Tails Vale Guidebook added. A guidebook of Nine Tails Vale, a village known for its Japanese ambience. Huh, and there's legends of creatures like the Nine Tailed Fox. I seem to remember something about that place. Pinrose Theater. Ah. Okay. Space Center pamphlet. Oh, hope you guys have seen Dual Destinies, because apparently we're just going to reference everything. But, your benevolence, I thought you were returning home tonight. Oh, I had all but forgotten. I will extend my stay one more day so that you may take me to visit all these locations. I'm afraid one day won't be enough to see all of them. In that case, there is one place I simply must see. When I saw it on TV some time ago, I thought, what a wonderful place it would be to visit. Unfortunately, its name eludes me. My sincerest apologies, Your Benevolence, but I have work waiting for me at the office. Enough! I am the Crown Princess, and I am gracing you with an extra day in your country. Do you truly believe a loyal lawyer, such as yourself, has the right to refuse me? I wasn't so lowly when I saved your crying, blubbering self from being lost. <laughs> Sounds like quite typical your in there, yeah? Hair forehead? Ugh, I recognize that glimmerous voice anywhere. This is Clavier Gavin. Don't those looks fool you. He's actually a prosecutor. He was also the lead singer of a famous rock band. Well, until they broke up, that is. You're still here? I thought you already left. Nine! How am I to escort this lovely lady to her plane? If I had! Oh, hello there, girl. How are you doing? I am Clavier. Alright, we were supposed to work together today to take care of Rafa. 
Korean's Minister of Justice had personally requested that he show her around, so I get to hang out with... Gavin. And let me guess, since it's official business, you're getting paid. Unlike me. I can't catch a break. Or a dollar. You're thinking out loud, hair for it. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yeah, let me buy you dinner to make up for it. Don't buy anything too expensive, though. <laughs> You're not a lady, so I won't. I won't pay for it. Oh, uh, uh, thanks, but I think I'll pass. Your loss, so princess. You wish to stay on ex an extra day for some sightseeing? Yeah. Well, you'll need your justice minister's approval for the change of itinerary first. Fine, then go contact him at once. I do not like to be kept waiting. <laughs> it would seem that at least you know how to treat royalty, Drillhead. Drillhead! Ooh, Drillhead. Hey, don't need to look straight at me when you say that, you know. Drillhead. Hot. Yeah, I understand, Minister Inga, but... Uh, yeah, you're right. Very well, sir. As you wish. Ugh, I'm afraid he wouldn't authorize your little sightseeing adventure, princess. He wants you back in Korean so you can perform your judicial duties. What's this? Why, I... I only wish to see some sights before returning home. I wish I could go home right now. Hmm? Why'd she go quiet all of a sudden? Fine, a princess must do what a princess must do. Come along, you two. Uh, wait, your benevolence! Come back! I guess we're going into court, and we're gonna argue why Rayfully should get to stay here an extra day? What's the- what's the trial about? Drillhead, you are on that side! Drillhead, go stand here! And Hornhead, you're going to stand over here! Stand over there! We're doing a trial! I'm doing a trial! Now let us begin! We're doing a trial now! Um, we can't just use the courtroom willy-nilly, you know. Um, excuse me, but the trial reenactment, if it is over, I'm, I'm not, I was about to go home, and I'm very hungry, and, um, what? Hear me, good people, I am Princess Rafa, Padma Kuraina, the kingdom of Kurain, and I am here to tell you that it is far too early for me to return home. A princess, a real-life princess, the kingdom of Kurain. I think I learned about it in school way back when. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I came to see the sights so that I may spread the word about how wonderful this land is. Seems odd that their last name is the same last name as the country. Can you imagine if we were voting for, like, President John America? I'm John America, and I want to be your president. My kingdom's cruel justice minister seeks to make me a thrall to his every command. She's really spinning this in her favor. My proposal is this, whether I see the sights here, or return to my duties back home. Shall be decided here, in this very courtroom. That's not how this works, Rafa. Rafa, that's not how this works. What does she think she's doing? We may yet defeat the minister if there were a tourist destination he would approve of. And upon my return home, I would promote it to build a bridge between our lands. For as crown princess, my endorsements can create tremendous economic impact. As such, I will be doing praiseworthy work that the minister could not possibly refute. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like the princess has a good head on her shoulders. And why not? I will sit down and hang out with it. I have my work cut out for me, but I'll make sure she returns home just as she should. Even if that makes me the villain of this story. Claudia, you're so dreamy! Oh my god, I love Claudia! Why do people only ever go for the bad boys? I could be... I could be a bad boy. Why do they like them so much? Why don't they like good lawyers? Someone write good lawyer romance novels. About a lawyer who's not bad. Earlier, Justice Minister Inga told me there's nothing worth seeing in a place like America. But... 
say if someone were to prove me wrong? See, not that great mistake. Did he say that? Did he actually say that? Yeah, there's nothing worth saying in America. But I mean, if you could show me evidence of there being anything good in America at all, then it might be fine. Yeah. But I doubt some third-rate lawyers are up to the task. I doubt that they could do it. Yeah, it's good to tell. Objection! I'm proud of my work as a lawyer and of the great tourist attractions this country offers. We've got Disneyland and we've got, um, there's this pizza place that I like to go to, um, and no one's gonna badmouth either one and get away with it because now it's personal. I'm gonna tell everyone how great America is. America is cool. That's the spirit. Let's rock the place to the ground, baby. Oh my, it seems you two are raring to go, even more than usual. Um, are you guys... Hmm? We are, but I was wondering, is the courtroom really the right place for such a trivial dispute? Hmm, you make a good point. But today is a special day where we learn about and celebrate the law with the public. So let's enjoy it while we can. You go, Yolanda! This is gonna be awesome! It's like a party in the courtroom! Oh, yeah! <laughs> now then, to keep things as authentic as possible, let's start with opening statements. You got it, Yolanda. Let's rock! Our defender today is Princess Rafa Padma Crane from the Kingdom of Crane. She has stated that she wants to extend her stay by one day to go do some sightseeing. However, Crane's Justice Minister has the final say about her visit, and he says, NINE! It seems the princess is needed back home, a sap, to perform her courtroom duties. At first blush, this appears to be a case of a spoiled princess. Um, well yeah, a little. Mr. Justice, you're uncharacteristically quiet today. Ordinarily, I'd expect you to say something along the lines of... OBJECTION! And then insist that you had the right to cross-examine whoever was on the stand. Oh, no. Uh, it's just, she is a spoiled princess in every sense of the word, so what can I say? Excuse me, horned head! Still, I should probably try to get some sort of testimony out of Princess Rafa. For in yet another trial that I'm not getting paid for. Wasn't there some touristy place she wanted to go see? In that case, there is one place I simply must see. When I saw it on TV some time ago, I thought, what a wonderful place it would be to go visit. Unfortunately, its name eludes me. Mm-hmm, okay, yep. If I could just figure out where that is, I might be able to win this one. The defense requests that her benevolent Princess Rafa testify. Please tell this court about your dream destination. And I'll try to figure out which one it is and present it as evidence. What a fun game. I saw it on TV some time ago. It has a uniquely Japanese building with a mini-tailed creature in front. Okay, so it's Nine Tails Vale. And there is a flashy yet cool individual who performs wicked feats of wonder. I find it terribly hard to explain, but suffice to say, it is an incredible place. Okay. Hmm, your interest in this place is clear, but as for where it is, well, Mr. Justice, did that testimony ring any bells with you? Uh, no, I can't say that it did. Yeesh, that explanation was even farther out there than I thought it'd be. It sounds like the Amazing Nine Tails. The trial's on and off with a bang, but it's fizzling out fast. You'd better do something now, Mr. Justice, before this festive atmosphere goes with it. I'm a lawyer, not a party planner, you know. Okay, let's cross-examine this and see if we can't clarify it for everybody else as to the number of foxes at this location. Whether it is zero, one, or more. All right, well, well uh, you saw it on TV. Do you enjoy watching TV? I do. Dramas, action shows, primetime shows, documentaries. I watch them all and often. 
As Crown Princess, you should probably watch the news too. Two foxes would be too many. Let's not get silly. By you, that is something that Nana would say. And that is a penalty worthy of offense. Wait, wait a sec, you can't just, whoa, whoa! Can we pretend I never said that? I'm just, no, you don't have to watch the news. Don't make me instantly lose the game because of that. Very well, as long as you never do it again. Now, to continue my testimony. It has a uniquely Japanese building with a mini-tailed creature in front. Ah, yes. As do a surprising number of Hold it. American buildings. There's a mini-tailed creature there. Yes, I distinctly recall that there was a creature with multiple tails. The tails were white and thin and protruded from its posterior. A creature with multiple tails? I wonder, could Rafa's dream destination actually be? Hmm. And there is a flashy yet cool individual who performs wicked feats of wonder. Hold it! Car, 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 car. A flashy yet cool individual. Wicked feats of wonder. Could you please be more specific? Hmm. Each feat was as amazing as the last, but I specifically recall a feat of instantaneous transformation and one of fire being produced out of thin air. Oh, and then was the feat of levitation. Oh, is she actually talking about the theater? Are we seeing magic stuff? I'm well acquainted with someone who's really good at stuff like that. Huh. I wonder if Rafa's dream destination is actually... So she, so she's describing different locations. I find it terribly hard to explain, but suffice to say it is an incredible place. Hold it. Is there anything else you could tell me? No, there was nothing else to be said. What have you tried remembering really, really hard? I already told you there is nothing else. The princess has already answered your hair forehead, so try not to be so rude, yeah? Easy for you to say. I've got next to nothing to go on. Well, that didn't help. I can't make heads or tails of it. I wonder if she's thinking about more than one place. That's it. She might be mixing a bunch of different places up. Let's see if presenting some tourist spots to her various statements can help me here. Okay. So, you saw it on TV as a uniquely Japanese building with a many-tailed creature out front. And that sounds like the Nine Tails Veil, um, let's see. A favorite, let's see, the, let's see, featuring statues of a frightening yokai, it's a must-see for any monster lover. Let's just present this and see what she says. Take a look at this. Is that a guidebook? Yep. It's for Nine Tails Veil, vale, an old village with a distinctly Japanese ambience. Oh, a Japanese style village in America? We are a country of immigrants, after all. The village has a legend about a nine tailed fox. We're just sliding right past it, just, just washing that off. A nine tailed fox? Does such a creature truly exist? Uh, that's a tale for another time, princess. Well, Herr Forehead. How do you intend to figure out if that village is our dream destination or not? Everyone has the day off today at our firm. Well, everyone except me. And as it just so happens, Athena's spending her day at Nine Tails Vale. Why not? She said something about going to meet a friend there. Jinxy, are we going to talk to Jinxy? Oh no. We can video chat with her by phone and have her take us around the village. Then maybe she, we'll find something that jogs her benevolence's memory. Nice thinking, Hornhead. It seems you are not as big of a lame brain as I thought. Now, let us waste no more time, for the very future of our two countries lies in the balance. Hey, Athena. Athena, sorry to bother you on your day off, but I got a favor to ask of you. Hmm, I see. Sounds like yet another classic Apollo jam. Alright, you can count on me! Oh, I want to 
say hello to everyone there in court today. I'm Tina Sykes here. I'm a lawyer at the right of the thing agency. Nice to meet you. Um, Adina, who are you talking to? Oh, right. I haven't introduced you. This is my friend, Jinxie Tenma. She lives in this village and is an expert on yokai, or Japanese spirits and demons. Say hi to everyone in this video chat, Jinxie. Video chat. -a. Yeah, look. That's Apollo there. You remember him, right? Ah, thank you for everything you did for me. No problem, Jinxie. I just remember you kept thinking I was a red demon the whole trial, and that's definitely not there. Okay, I don't want to rush you, but we need you to start looking into whether Nine Tails Vale is the princess's dream destination. You got it! The Sykes Division of Right Anything Agency is on the case! And while we're at it, we can show everyone what a fun place this is to visit. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do this thing! Then let's do this. Oh, we are going to do it. Oh. Alright, let's look around. This is an investigation mid-trial. There is... what? There's like a little puppet boy. I guess we're looking over here at this building that is definitely not foxes, actually. It's a big spider. This is the village souvenir shop. Oh, maybe the souvenir shop is what Rafa saw on TV. What's the hottest selling souvenir in your village, Jinxie? Right now, these warding charms are flying off the shelves. This said that a lawyer once stuck one of these to his forehead, which enabled him to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Wait, is she talking about me? Yeah, this one's on the house. I'm not actually... Ah! <laughs> Blue. You didn't need to stick it to my phone. Warning charm added to the court record. Okay. Um, what's over here? This shop serves cat's tail noodles, a local specialty in Nine Tails Vale. If it's a local favorite, it could have been on the local show Rafa saw. Why is it called cat's tail noodles anyway? It's simple, because the noodles look like the tail of a cat. They come in a bowl of broth that includes scary looking cat shaped fish cakes. Whoa! Now this I have to try! Yum, 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 yum. No fair! I want to try some too! Yeah, we'll get to it. I'm having fun looking around. Sorry, maybe when you're done with work, Apollo. But I can tell you, it's really good! And this tempura, it tastes like lotus root. Huh. That's right. Our locally grown lotus roots are the best. You should introduce it to all your viewers. Yeah, all four of us. Okay, we're getting a lot of evidence that I'm beginning to think we don't need. Um, this statue over here has a bunch of white tails. I wonder what Raphael might have been the nine-tailed fox. Can you tell us all you know about the nine-tailed fox, Jinxie? He's the village's guardian yokai who protects us from countless other evil yokai. Like Funayore, a vengeful ghost that sinks ships. Ushioni, a horrible man-eating monster. Kamai Tachi, a terrible creature that slices people up. Shishin Misaki, ghosts that kill. Um, Jinxie, let me stop you right there. Before you really freak me out. Whoopsie. Sorry. The nine-tailed fox defeated each and every one of those terrifying yokai. And then finally sealed away their boss, Tin Mataro, thereby saving our village. This scroll includes illustrations of the battles and describes the whole story in detail. It even includes stories on the dozens of even more terrifying yokai that were involved. If I told you about them, you, you would be too scared to go to the bathroom at night. Oh, come on. How scary could they really be? Alright. Okay. We have so much evidence now. And that's the way it is. Nine Tails Vale is a fabulous tourist destination, replete with monstrous yokai. This has been Athena Sykes, signing off! Okay.
Well, Mr. Justice, are you ready to continue with this trial now? Raven said she saw a creature with multiple tails on TV. If I show her the nine-tailed fox and she recognizes it, then I should be able to prove that it's nine tails veil that she wants to visit. Please don't keep us waiting. Show us a piece of evidence proving whether Benevolence wants to visit. Um... Well, it would have to be... the nine-tailed fox. Take that! The scroll of Legend shows what the nine-tailed fox looks like. Your Benevolence, would you please take a good look at it? Isn't this the many-tailed creature you mentioned seeing at your dream destination? Are you all right, young lady? Are you not feeling well? They're all so hideous. And what is that caught in the fangs of its the last, this last one? Eek! She's the crown princess of a kingdom hair forehead, so show her a little more respect. Only an uber creep like you would enjoy scar scarring her with such abominable creatures. Hmm. I can't say that I approve of what you just did, Mr. Justice. The things I get for just doing my job. Well, it seems that Vince believes he has the answer. Does his choice of nine tails fail meet your approval, your benevolence? Of course it does not! I, I would never want to see such terrifying monsters! Now I will never be able to go to the royal restroom alone at night ever again! Just call my name and I'll be there to escort you, milady, to anywhere you want to go. Quiet, drillhead! The creature I saw was definitely not as terrifying as that. This is a classic case of defeating one's own purpose. Miss Justice is somewhat of an expert. No! It was so hard just getting this far. Hmm. I'm afraid the princess will have to cancel her travel plans and return home. Objection! Not so fast. We've still got a little time. Your benevolence, you would still like to visit your dream destination if you can, correct? Well, of course I would. Perhaps I should testify once more. Phew, we still have a shot at winning this thing. Okay, so not the fox. I saw it on TV some time ago. Perish the thought. It's not some village filled with strange creatures. Let's press that, because that's new. Please look again. Are you sure it wasn't a nine-tailed fox? How dare you? If you keep sticking that frightening thing in my face, I will never be able to sleep alone at night again. And someone will have to sleep with me. Don't be mean to Rafa. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that Rafa is only 14 years old. It's not a place as scary as that. Okay. And there's a flashy yet cool individual who performs wicked feats of wonder. Flashy yet cool? That sounds like... The Magician Trucy Wright. Objection! This is a flyer for the Great Pinrose Theater. A gateway to success for budding entertainers. Oh yes, I've heard of it. It's been on TV quite a bit recently. There was some kind of trial happening, I don't know. That's right, it has been on TV and has a flashy, cool person performing wicked feats of wonder. I see. Well, that's all very fine and dandy. But how could this single flyer prove that this is the tourist spot we are looking for? Oh, that's easy. My boss's daughter is a professional magician, you see. In fact, she should be rehearsing over at the Penrose Theater as we speak. If we call her now, we just might see one of those feats of wonder for ourselves. Truly, then perhaps I might... <clears throat> Excuse me. Truly, then perhaps I might finally be able to visit my dream destination. Well, what are we waiting for? Bailiff, bring the digital communication equipment at once. But it's my job to order the bailiff around. Hello. What up, Trucy? Hi, Trucy. I know you're busy rehearsing and all, but... If you could spare a minute, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. 
Hey, that sounds like fun. Besides, I'm already done with the first part of the rehearsals. What else could I spend my time doing? Except babysitting your butt, Apollo. I'd love to help. Plus, it'll be some free publicity for the show. Don't touch that dial. The magic's about to begin. It's just a video chat, not live TV. Greetings to my viewers there in the courtroom. Can everybody hear me? It's me, magical girl, Trucy Wright, at your service. Welcome to my special backstage tour of the Pinrose Theater. I'd like to thank you all for coming to see me today. I sure hope she remembers to keep this special backstage tour short. Unfortunately, the stage is currently being used for rehearsals. So let's head on outside to the front of the theater, where we won't get in the way. Three, two, one! Ta-da! We enter the magic panties, we just slide right in, and now we're outside! And there you have it! My magic has safely teleported us outside! Whoa! If you see anything that interests you, Apollo, just say the word and I'll check it out! Okay, thanks, Juicy. You're a lifesaver. So, lots of things that are probably gonna give us evidence we don't need. Can we not look at the actual Penrose triangle? Let's look at the giant Rubik's Cube! Hey, that's Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth! And he just came out of the theater! Wait, he couldn't be the flashy, cool person Raven was talking about, could he? It's the Edgeworth! Hmm? Oh, it's you. Great. You're juicy right! In the flesh! So, what brings you here? Oh, um, actually, I came to see the show. But there's no show today, only rehearsals. Uh, which is why I'm now leaving. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a pressing matter to which I must attend, and that is not talking to anyone at the courthouse about how I came to the wrong place on the wrong day. Strange, he came to see the show and now he's suddenly got pressing business. Oh look, he dropped something. This is a poster for the Steel Samurai stage show that's playing here next month. The tickets were on sale today and each one comes with one of these posters. Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth is a fan of the Steel Samurai. Huh, nah, he couldn't be. That'd be silly. Okay, we got a poster of that. But that wasn't the clue we needed. Let's look at this Trucy and Gremory Land poster. Now there's a flashy, cool looking person in this poster. That's our Trucy! Yep, our show is back by popular demand, and opening day is tomorrow. But it won't just be the exact same show, we'll be doing some new magic tricks too. Here's a promo video to give you a little taste of what's in store. If you like it and want to see more, make sure to come on down to the show. Promo video? Oh boy! Can we watch it? She said she'd help, but she's doing a really good job of using me to plug her show. Alright, that wasn't it. Is this... what's his face? He's really transfixed by the poster. Maybe he's a theater regular. If he's a regular theater goer, it's possible he knows about the so-called feats of wonder. Okay, I'll ask. Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but... I was wondering, do you come to see shows at the Penrose Theater often? Sure, all the time. Ah, uh, you're truly right. I'm a huge fan of yours. Wow, thanks. Would you mind telling me which trick you think is the best so far? The best trick so far? Hmm. I'd say it'd have to be your amazing Mr. Hat Trick! The way he moves around the stage as if he were alive, it never fails to amaze me. The greatest magic of all is life-size puppets. Oh, stop, you're embarrassing me! <laughs> but I'm happy to say he will be a big part of my performance tomorrow. So to all of you Mr. Hat fans out there, this is one show you won't want to miss! I really can't help but feel she's just using me to plug the show right now, and that this is terrible. 
All right. Mr. Hat added to the core record. Great. Thanks, Juicy. I think I've seen everything I needed to. Great! Well, everyone, I hope to see you at one of my shows next time. Until then, have a magical day! Ooh. Thanks, Juicy. That's great, Juicy. Mr. Hat is pretty flashy. Well, Mr. Justice, did you find any clues that might help your case? Rafa mentioned a flashy, cool person and feats of wonder in her testimony. These two phrases just might be the key to figuring out her dream destination. What evidence do you have that can prove that this is the princess's dream destination? Well, it's gotta be the amazing Mr. Hat. Signature trick seems to play a big part in tomorrow's show as well. Let's present Mr. Hat. Well, what do you think of this, your benevolence? Do you like it? Hornhead. Do you believe that any interest I might have in that piece of evidence would somehow prove my dream destination to be the Pinrose Theater? Um, I just thought it might make a nice souvenir if you liked it, and you could take Mr. Hat back to Corrine, and then I would never see it again. And then, when you're back in Corrine, you tell your people what a great country this is! I do not care for that piece of evidence or your clumsy speculation! Hmm. And might I add, this court doesn't look kindly on bribery, Mr. Justice. Understood, Your Honor. Please, let me try that again. Okay, so it's probably the tape. Of Trucy doing cool things. Unless it's this. Take that! As you all already know, the answer is right here in this promo video. Yes, I was hoping we'd get to watch that! Alright, it's Juicy time. She may be small, but she's got a, a big heart. So, is the Princess's Dream Destination a magic show? Even if it's not the exact same show, that promo video just might jog her memory. Yeah, I'd say it's worth a try, Anna. Truth be told, I'm itching to see what the new show is all about. Indeed, I too can't hardly, hardly wait to think I may finally be able to go there. Very well. Bailiff, please start the video if you would. Is... new? Is it gonna be a new video? Oh my! I thought that young lady was about to transform! But she was sailed in half instead! Whoa! Look at those flames coming out of Nova! This act rocks! I hate... Uh, it's, the good thing's not coming out of a guitar! That one's not so cool. So I can't say I'm the biggest fan of watching stuff burn. Ha 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 Now she's floating through the air! No wait, it's a sword trick next! Whoa! Look how many swords they stabbed in there! That's unbelievable! I hope I never have to go in somewhere that gets stabbed a lot. Yeah! Oh man, the animation budget's just been thrown out! Oh my god, so much overtime! Well that, was, well, that was certainly worth a watch. My goodness. I can't believe they managed to put that many effects in such a short amount of time. Now I want to go see the Fraulein show too. I'll send her some flowers. Well, your benevolence, was this what you wanted to see? How could you people think nothing of such barbarity? This mm, young lady being cut in two, scorched by roaring flames, and skewered like a kebab? That is far from entertainment. It is a public execution. Uh, you got it all wrong. It's just a magic show, that's all. She's still very much alive. I mean, you just saw her in the video chat, right? You nincompoop. What sort of a person could survive being split in twain, burned, and run through? <laughs> and if there was someone who could, they would be more monster than man. She's not Rasputin or something. Seriously? Ah, uh, now I see. That place is, in fact, a haunted house! I would never, ever go to such a place. Ah, uh, um, you gotta be kidding me. Apparently, the people of Kain have never heard of magic tricks. 
only you could find such a client here for him. So, ready to concede yet? This is a disaster. It doesn't look like Rafa wants to visit either of the places I mentioned. But they're both really great tourist spots. I like them a lot. Why is this happening? Could there be other tourist spots in America? No. Though this is only a mock trial, Mr. Justice. As the presiding judge, it is my duty to render a verdict. And as it seems, both of your suggestions failed to please the princess. The courtroom can be a cool place, yeah? Now, if you please, your honor. You disappoint me, Hornhead. I no longer wish to see the sights of your country. America. And it is all your fault. It's a bad country that no one likes or would ever want to visit. Hmm. 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 The princess has made her feelings on the matter quite clear. And as it appears that Mr. Justice has nothing more to say, I'm afraid I must now render my verdict, despite this rather lackluster climax. Hold it! Please wait! There's still one more possibility. At least, I hope there is. Think, Apollo, think! I saw it on TV some time ago. It has a uniquely Japanese building with a mini-tailed creature in front. And there is a flashy yet cool individual who performs wicked feats of wonder. I find it terribly hard to explain, but suffice to say it is an incredible place. A uniquely Japanese building, and someone flashy. Where could that be? Or maybe she's just confused. Wait, that just might actually be it. Come on, hair forehead. The princess has a flight to catch. She was watching TV after all. Maybe she confused a fictional TV show for the real thing. Prosecutor Gavin is right. We should wrap this up if you have no further evidence to present. But if you do, Mr. Justice, then please be quick about it. Oh, I've got further evidence to present, all right. A uniquely Japanese building and a flashy individual. This is the only thing it can be. I think it is actually Neo Old Tokyo and the Steel Samurai himself. I believe I'm onto something here. Recall, if you would, what her benevolence said she saw her benevolence said she saw on TV. I saw it on TV some time ago. It has a uniquely Japanese building with a mini-tailed creature in front. And there is a flashy yet cool individual who performs wicked feats of wonder. I find it terribly hard to explain, but suffice to say it is an incredible place. Now that I think about it, it was rather odd from the start. A uniquely Japanese building and a flashy cool person? Doesn't that seem like a complete mismatch? I see what you mean. That would explain the trouble you've had thus far. Right. In fact, I was beginning to wonder if such a place even existed. What's this? Are you attempting to find fault with my testimony? No. That wasn't my intent. What I'm trying to say is this. Since what you saw was on TV, it might not have been an actual tourist destination. Take a look at this, please. Why is that a poster? Yes, it's for the action hero show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo-Old Tokyo. Hmm. Never heard of it. If you're trying to spice up this mock trial with that poster, I'm afraid... No, Your Honor, this is a key piece of evidence. Your Benevolence, would you please take a good look at this? Do you recall ever seeing this character and this building? I believe the uniquely Japanese building you mentioned is this castle, and the Steel Samurai is the flashy cool individual who performs feats of wonder. He also has white robes trailing behind him. I believe you might have mistaken them for tails. 
And the transformation, the fire out of thin air, and the levitation you saw, they were all special effects. Why? I believe that makes perfect sense. That expression of space, and that head crowned with a top knot, and that castle made in an architectural style unique to Japan. There could be no doubt, Hornhead. This is what I saw on TV. What? Well, this certainly is a surprise. Are you sure about this, your benevolence? It had completely escaped my mind, but now, there can be no doubt. I saw a making of documentary for the Steel Samurai. You didn't see the actual show? I did not. There was a lion-like man who kept apologizing and expressing his gratitude while practicing his special moves. It is it not beautiful how hard he tries to bring smiles to the people? What a relief. I thought I was toast for a minute there. What an unexpected conclusion to this case. It appears the true nature of the princess's dream destination has come to light. Prosecutor Gavin, would you care to respond? Well, Prosecutor Gavin, isn't it about time we end this? In this, whatever do you mean? Isn't it obvious? It's time to call the Justice Minister and let him know the defense won. Yes, that was the agreement, was it not? Alright, but allow me this one question. Sure. If the princess's stay is extended by a day, where exactly would you go to do your sightseeing tomorrow? But nonsense! I will go visit my dream dis- Ah! Uh oh, it's not a real place. Her benevolence's dream destination only exists in the world of fantasy. <laughs> of course, if you know how to travel into TV land, please do tell. No! What will you do now, Mr. Justice? Oh, this is getting exciting. That's a good question. What am I going to do now? We finally figured out what Rafa's dream destination is. But it didn't help. Not one bit. I see. Yes, it is true. My dream destination has turned out to be a fiction of sorts. I had wished to bring fond memories of your country back with me to Kurain. But now... Hmm. To have a dream destination one can never, ever visit. What an unfortunate end of this story. There is no reason to force an extended stay now. Exactly. Still, it wasn't off or nothing. This mock trial event really rocked, even if the last number fell a bit flat. Is this it? Is it really all over? No. It's not over until the fat lady sings. There must be some place that looks like Rafa's dream destination. That castle made an architectural style unique to Japan. This place looks just like Rafa's dream destination. Is it... the space center? Because it's the only place we haven't presented. Please take a look at this, your benevolence. Um, don't you want to take a look? It seems it's not even worth a passing glance. Oh no! Okay, not the. Sorry, I tried. I tried to uh, crash and burn. This place looks like Rafa's. Okay, it's Nine Tails Vale again, right? Or was there something else here? No? Hmm? Okay, is this not the guidebook for that village? That monster-filled nightmare is no... Ah, wait a moment. Ninetales Castle. They have a Japanese-style castle attraction there. But that's not all. It's not beautiful how hard he tries to bring smiles to the people. 
Oops. Rafa was impressed, not only by the Steel Samurai's feats of wonder, but also by the hard work of the people behind the show. I just know I have something that speaks to the dedication required for a show. Is it the promo video again? For just representing this evidence? What do you think of this, your benevolence? Absolutely nothing. Oh no! But this is a fabulous item that everyone in America is dying to have! It is? Nine hair forehead. Not me either! What are you talking about? Who'd want something like that? You may be able to pull a princess from another country, but not your own countrymen. Uh... What was I thinking? Rafa was impressed not only by the Steel Samurai's feats of wonder, but also by the hard work of the people behind the show. Um, so I guess the theater itself... Take that! Please take a look at this, your benevolence. This is about that dreadful show we saw a promo video for, isn't it? They are putting their noses to the grindstone every day to prepare the best show on Earth. Come to think of it, the dance of devotion was a difficult feat to master. I had to practice hard, day after day, ever since I was little. Need I remind you, Mr. Justice, that the princess went so far as to say she'd never visit either of those places? I know. And I'm not trying to recommend them all over again. After all, they aren't the only places where you can see such things in action. There are lots of hardworking people. All across this country. That's why I'm running for president. Vote for me. Apollo Justice. So there will always be fun sights to see and great hospi hospitality, no matter where you go. Here in America, the greatest country. This message is approved by Apollo Justice for President. The noodles are here to die for and the people are so kind. This village is the best. The noodles are made by hand from locally sourced ingredients. They're so good, I come here to eat them just about every day. The product's in. The noodles are the best. The air here's so clean, and the water's so fresh. I'm gonna eat my way through this entire village. Let's do this. Time to eat everything in the <laughs> everything in the everything in the village. No, please don't, Athena. We need those things to live in. Three, two, one, ta-da! Oh, hey, it's the... That's 783 times in a row! Vanishing acts are a stock in trade of any great magician. I'm aiming for a perfect thousand in my magic panties vanishing drill. Failure's not an option. Three, two, one, ta-da! Ah! You saw Widget and my phone? That's 784 times! Don't stare me! Wonderful. How truly wonderful. Hmm. I would have to agree. Hey, <laughs> smooth words there, hair forehead. Real smooth. This will no doubt satisfy the Justice Minister, and more importantly, me. But this is no trip of leisure. I only do this out of my sense of duty as Crown Princess. For your country is a renowned travel destination, and there is so much to learn. Nice try, but I don't think anyone's buying what you're selling. Now hear me, one and all! Should you be available tomorrow? Let us go and join Nine Tails Vale and the Pinrose Theatre together. And nuts to the, the whatever the other place was. Space Station? Who cares? I shall personally cover any and all necessary expenses. You're buying? Okay, let's go to a theater and a town. Really? Oh, well, I don't have anything going on. Can I come to? Yay! Hooray! We're all going! I got time tomorrow. I'm gonna cancel that meeting I have. Your benevolence, would you mind if I brought my grandchild along? How could I say no to that? Of course you may bring them along. Oh my, I can hardly wait. Well, it just so happens I'm free tomorrow too. I guess I'll go. What about you, Hair Forehead? There is only one acceptable answer. Is there not Hornhead? 
I guess I have no choice but to go. Well, now that that's all settled, there's just one thing left to do. This court is adjourned. Hooray! Also, Apollo, you have to pay for all of it. I didn't bring any American money. Do you mind? Thank you. Thank you. And that's how our surreal sightseeing mock trial came to an end. And how I got roped into another day of never-ending excitement. My Steel Samurai poster. Now, where could it be? Where could I have dropped it? Hmm. You'll never get it back, Edgeworth. It's mine now. Well, that's the end of the other S9 attorney. Those were very silly, but thanks for sticking around through them. Next up, we'll be doing an actual DLC case. Next time, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Bye for now. Bye!